Working with hazardous materials in the lab requires a great deal of caution. An accident or miscalculation can have serious consequences. Fortunately, there are a number of indicators that warn us when we're about to encounter one of these substances. Labels provide basic warnings about the contents of a specific container. Signs posted on storage cabinets make us aware of the hazards that certain groups of chemicals present. But to work as safely as possible, we need more information than labels and signs can provide. To get the full picture, we need to look at a substance's material safety data sheet, its MSDS. OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard requires chemical manufacturers, distributors, and importers to provide MSDSs to all of their customers. The MSDS contains information designed to protect us, so we need to read it before working with any chemical that we use. Material safety data sheets cover everything from the hazardous ingredients that are in a substance to the personal protective equipment that should be used when handling it. OSHA requires that all material safety data sheets contain the same basic information, but the way in which this information is put together is left up to the company that provides the MSDS. The American National Standards Institute, ANSI for short, has created a format that many companies follow. But if you look through a group of MSDSs, you can see that there is still no standard for the way the information is organized. So becoming familiar with its MSDS is the first step to working safely with a hazardous chemical.